This is Demarius Thomas, and you're watching Bronco Planet. Well, hey there, folks. He's Shed. I'm Danny, and uh, we do it uh, Bronco Planet style here. Uh, whoop, whoop, and uh, hey, pretty lady. Shad. This was one of those games, buddy. Hey. And, and I know what you're saying. What's with the fancy hat, Dan? Which yeah. is a very smart-looking we, we question. We yep. did not come back from a victory. We actually had this game. So That's right. explain the madness. Well, the, the hat is uh, because I'm feeling fancy. Mm -hmm. Last night was absolutely pandemonium chaos. Let's just rewind a little bit. You know, when, when we were talking about some of the predictions of the year, you had to circle this game as a game. You know, a, a game that if you lo lost, uh, you probably wouldn't have been too surprised. Unfreaking believable last night. 530 yards by the Bronco offense, which is, uh, in my opinion, still overshadowed by what? By what? I don't know. The Talk freaking to me. The defense. defense. Are you right. kidding me? Wait, of did course, you not watch that game? Yes. No. That would that. Holy everybody pants. anticipated Peyton Manning uh -huh. was going to do his thing, which he's done right. all year long. What we didn't expect is Jack Del Rio. We we we, we nudged him a little bit last mm -hmm. week. Said, mm -hmm. hey, you may want to take a little time away from the family and come up with a, a game plan because your defense has been suspect. And they come out and shut down Drew Brees. Huge. What a what a great yeah. day for the defense, the offense, Bronco fans mm -hmm. in general had to be you know ecstatic. So right. tell us a little bit. You were down there, right there at the stadium. I was lucky to get out of there alive. Shad. Yeah, it was, you got a little uh, voice problem. This yeah, there, how was you a, there was a little screaming, and, and uh, I, I can't uh, tell you how many uh, 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 spontaneous expletives came out of my mouth. <laughs> and I don't, even, I'm not that kind of guy. But it was just such a uh, such a wonderful game to watch. Uh, it was, uh, you know, again the, the Bronco offense. I'll just, I want to touch on this again. Okay, the, over 500 yards offense. Weeks and weeks ago, uh, when we were talking about uh, the Bronco offense <clears throat> being uh, what they are with Peyton Manning now, uh, 500, not too surprising to me. Yeah. Not at all. I'm more worried about the defensive side of the ball. I knew we were going to go hang some points on uh, on uh, that New the, Orleans defense. Yeah, it was defense our defense. Yeah, it's, how do you stop Drew Brees? How do you stop uh, the, the Marcus Colstons and the Jimmy Grahams? And, and uh, that's what was keeping me awake at night. It was just unbelievable. We sat right here at this table last week. We talked about uh, Denver's inability to get off the field on third down on the defensive side of the ball. That's all they did yesterday. Yeah. It was uh, – And here, here's the thing. It was so surprising game. about that as well. You know, Voom and Doom right. played a consistent game, but right. they weren't, you know, usually they get ahead. They're everywhere. Drew Brees has got a fast release, so it's going to be hard right. to get to him. And it wasn't really the Voom and Doom show. It was really just great coverage. Champ Bailey was freaking on fire, was everywhere. The, the young guys stepping mm -hmm. up, uh, the combination of the veteran Brookings, and you add that whole defensive unit as a whole played really good. Now, of course, you know, you know, I got to say it, but you can count every game. You know that Adams and uh, Raheem Moore are going to give up one touchdown to a tight end. So right. they, you know, check that off the box. But all together, <laughs> <Mission accomplished. laughs> yes, uh, Raheem Moore, you're the right. center fielder, buddy. I don't know how you can't anticipate better. But uh, anyway, you know, that does not even hold a candle to how great the overall defensive unit played. Uh, and once again, you see the balance. And right. when that when that offense is as balanced as you see, you know, we, we had Rachel uh, uh, sent out a great uh, email about uh, – a blog today about Wesley Woodyard and what a great game he had. He, 12 tackles, yeah. a sack, an interception, the list goes on and on. And then we actually, uh, Brianne puts out uh, an, our, a blog about the uh, the offense and how balanced it was. And you just, I mean, you have three three passes here, three passes there. De uh, you know, Thomas is getting his 100 yards. Uh, Decker with a couple touchdowns. Quick I shout out, though. Virgil Green. Holy crap. You know what I even said last night to... to uh, we didn't even rehearse this. We're both thinking Virgil Green. Oh, yeah. It, it was kind of fun. I even said said to myself after the third catch, here's the funny stat of the game. Second leading receiver for the Broncos, Virgil Green. Yeah, <laughs> he right. had more yards than Decker. Everybody in, a, in my comment was, uh, God, uh, uh, everybody in Colorado right now who's in fantasy is trying to pick up Virgil <laughs> Green. Yes. It was hilarious. Yeah, but no. it was, that's just, uh, and again, that's something we uh, touched on last week, is Peyton Manning's ability to spread the ball around. Spread the ball out. Mm -hmm. So, hey, we got so much more to talk about. Great win for the Broncos. Should probably but we, pay we got, the bills right now. Yeah, right? so All speaking right, of that. Bill, let's go yep. to Bill Sports Collectibles. You got it. Nice segue. Hey, Broncos fans, looking for a sports store that covers all your Denver Broncos needs? 
Look no further. Bill Sports Collectibles has you covered. Located off of Broadway in downtown Denver, Bill's has the largest selection of Denver Broncos memorabilia anywhere in the county. Looking for autographed helmets and jerseys? Bill's has you covered. How about old classic Broncos memorabilia, like famous orange crush cans? Bill's has you covered. Needing a favorite old school jersey or perhaps the latest Peyton Manning jersey? You guessed it, Bills has you covered. So wait no longer, Denver Broncos fans. Bills Sports Collectibles has you covered. Serving customers since 1981. So, hey, got to love uh, Bill Sports Collectibles. Yep, and yep, speaking yep. of Bill, we're going to reach around here and grab this hat, which we uh, got from Bill Sports Collectibles. And then we were down there covering the Bronco uh, events. And uh, lo and behold, we had Elvis Dumerville and Ronnie Hillman, who had nice. a big game nice. yesterday. Nice. Huh? Yep. 6.1 yards per carry. Great burst of speed. And uh, all you had to do last week, as you saw our prize monkey, was uh, talk about your favorite part of the season and, and, the, and the most disappointing. And Andres Gallegos nice. uh, is uh, one that hat he talked about the Pittsburgh game he knew right away that the Broncos were going to be a different team this year and his most disappointing was the Texan game I guess right. his best friend uh, likes the Texan did a little rubbing in but our day will come against the Texans again as we play for the AFC uh, championship you watch the Texans Broncos are going to meet up again sometime so Congratulations, anyway Andres. and we'll have more prize monkey for you uh, as we prepare for the uh, <clears throat> upcoming week we'll have Chris on the set and we'll uh, give away some more swag also real quick last thing I don't know, you, Kirk Davis, our buddy Captain Kirk, you may know him, uh, no, Mile High Report, uh, hooked us up with these great coffee mugs. I'm actually drinking a little Coca-Cola this morning to get the uh, heart, uh, target heart rate for the day. But uh, anyway, you, you can go to Mile High Report, look up Kirk Davis, these great horse tracks uh, mugs. Man, one of the greatest Bronco fans, great, great website. Yep. So uh, that's going out to you. So, uh, Dan, sum it up uh, for me. Uh, you know, you got to be excited. I mean, the, last year we had to feel a little bit like – it was magic, right? right there was right, something right, right. special about last year, but it was crappy football for most of the game, and then miracle wins. This yeah. is starting to feel like a very Super Bowl caliber team. Yeah, absolutely. Shad, last year we talked a little bit about divine intervention, <laughs> you know, getting uh, the Broncos uh, at least into the playoffs. Some some uh, things happened, some miracles happened, if you will. Uh, but this week, you know, it, this year rather, especially the the last few games, it's it, it, it a it was really nice to see Denver play sixty minutes of football, both sides of the ball. And uh, special teams, a little uh, clap out to our return, our punt return team. Yeah, uh, it did pretty good. A, a couple something. times it was deep in the, you know, shake. like let it go, don't don't get it. Right. And then he breaks it out, and you did see those, you know, some great bursts of speed from right. the little man. So that was that was awesome. Yeah, it's 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 something that just the the whole game was just a joy to watch, and it was sixty minutes of football again. That's something that we've talked about in the past. It's broken record time again. Wicker wicker. Yep. Anytime we uh, anytime we talk about these things, they just seem to get fixed. Is it luck? Or divine intervention, Chad. I don't know. I, 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 think, luck I think they got yeah. it tied into Bronco Planet. Yep, and everything yep, we yep, talk yep. about, they address. Hey, let's give out some other kudos here. Omar Bolden, you mm -hmm. know, hadn't gotten much playing time. He's starting to make his name on special teams. A great job of jumping right. up with the sky hook to, to get that <clears throat> punt inside the two-yard line. you got to go back with Chris Harris again. Chris Harris continues yep. to be good. Tony Carter playing well. Wesley Woodyard has stepped Player in so the nicely. Yes, Wesley Woodyard. yes, for they sure. Are done. Guy gets an interception, forces a fumble, a tackling machine. Might have got a sack, yeah. too. I yep. mean, he and was everywhere, just yep. playing well. I think maybe he, he senses that DJ may be coming back soon, and I really like being out here and part right. of this is starting defense. Well, so On the DJ thing, we'll just touch it real quick. A couple more games. You get him back. It's still a positive. You know, the, the one thing that people uh, tend to forget is that DJ's not on the bay, uh, the, the payroll right now. Yeah. They have cost him for nothing. Joe Mays got hurt uh, last night. A little frustration. He did cost little... me some frustration. Yeah, Can but you count that? But the point is, uh, you know, depth. Yeah. Anytime you have a, a guy like DJ Williams as depth, that's a good thing coming, uh, you know, coming back to us here in a couple of weeks. Next week we've got uh, the juggernaut that is the Cincinnati Bengals. Yep. Try not to get too cocky now. Well, no, hey, I actually they got a great quarterback, and mm -hmm. AJ Green is uh, going to give you. Uh, is that AJ Green or AC a a a a Green? A yeah. Green? That's uh, all right. I'm starting to think of Lakers uh, point guards. I don't right. know too many Greens <laughs> out there. But uh, anyway, the bottom line is that mm -hmm. that's not going to be a rollover game. Uh, no. But uh, you know, look at Peyton Manning. They'd score a bunch of touchdowns. He's over there meeting with the offensive unit. This is not a team that's going to sit back and and take mm -hmm. it easy. They're, they, you know, they're definitely on a roll. They're feeling good. Danny Trevathan getting a few yeah, uh, plays that was kind in of there. Interesting to see and uh, you know Trevathan and uh, Nate Irving get in a little play time a uh, quick shout out to uh, Joe Mays get well soon we don't know the extent of your injury uh, but it's uh, yeah. what a great what a great just 
the the whole experience uh you know of course mile high is mile high and the, and the electricity was there I, I was you know i've got no fingernails if you can see <laughs> the big be- the beginning of the game i didn't even say a word i'm just i'm sitting at the edge of my seat say i just like okay get off on third down get off on third down get off on third down it was just amazing i have not seen drew Brees, you know and and uh you know we're, we're a couple of red zone channel yeah. fans here so we watch pretty much every game every week and you just don't see drew Brees being pressured the way that the broncos took care of him last yeah. night but did it did a great job yep. across the board. And once again, we mentioned last week, let's get Ronnie Hillman involved. Mm-hmm. He comes in. McGay, he does his usual just running over people, over 100 yards and a touchdown. And then you get Hillman coming in for right. 86 yards. So, I mean, that offense is clicking like no other. Yep. Great bounce. And that offensive line is protecting Peyton Manning. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know how many days he's, uh, games he's gone now without a sack. but uh, And it sets a Bronco record now. Right. Five consecutive games with over 300 yards. And, and I think, you know, the records are going to continue to fall. Peyton Manning is in the zone. Yeah, there's been several uh, articles out there, several uh, people in the biz, you know, so to speak, that are talking about the Denver Bronco receivers and the offense as a whole that is finally catching up with Peyton Manning. And when that happens... Well, you saw what happened, good. 530 yards worth of offense. So, yeah. ooh, 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 good and big things, uh, you know, and, and it's it's the pump-up, Chad. It's, yeah. you know, you, we're, we're, we're feeling better, we're feeling better, we're feeling better. Uh, the, the three losses now, but a distant memory, who cares? Yes. You know, they're, they're, they're lucky they <laughs> yep. weren't on the, and, you know, the receiving end of that 500 yards from Peyton. <clears throat> Rolling forward, uh, uh, what do you see the keys to, to coming up next week with Cincinnati? Well, I, I just think uh, stopping uh, their talented receiving core mm-hmm. and just continuing to play good, solid defense. Jack Del Rio made a big step with that defense uh, against Drew Brees, and, and hopefully now we can uh, start rolling. I mean, the the, re- the, the record looks uh, pretty good for the Denver Broncos moving forward. They got right. through a lot of the tough games. Now working on the fundamentals, work on the details, and uh, good things are going to happen. We'll break it all down for you coming yep. up later this week. Real quick. Uh, yes, sir. The streak is intact. Steak dinner. McGee up the middle. First play of the game. Yep. <laughs> Love the predictability. Yeah, that's okay. But it works. Hey, we're, we're happy. We are, <laughs> yep. There's nothing to be uh, disappointed about. Great no. game for the Denver Broncos. Great uh, great time for Bronco mm-hmm. Planet. Danny, I'm glad you were down there yep, yep. having a good time. It and you awesome. survived it. And, and enjoy your day at work today. <laughs> yeah, you, you as well. Uh, hey, until uh, Thursday. Yep. This is uh, Bronco Planet. Chad, Danny. Hey, make sure you check us out. Facebook, YouTube, and, uh, and of course, Twitter. Love you all. Mm, go see Bill Sports Collectible because he's so awesome. Thanks for watching Broncos Planet.